Hello, my name is Vicky Leasing and I'm a, a professional artist but my passion is journal making and over recent years I've been making more and more and I've been lucky enough to be selling them. Uh, this is one of a series of 12 that I'm doing using up authentic Asian uh, silk papers and collectibles that I've been able to collect over the last 40 years. I have three adopted Chinese children and on my many trips to Asia I've just um, packed them all away in a suitcase and it literally is time to destash. So I'm making these beautiful journals. This one here is 8 by 6 and it has um, 200 odd pages and it has a cover that is covered with finishing fabric. It's a gold brocade with gold leaves on it. I've also embossed metal on the front here using a Spellbinders Shapeabilities die. Um, the metal is um, a aluminium that is used by plumbers in roofing and it's very easy to, to cut and to use and it looks beautiful in here and takes the alcohol inks uh, very well. The spine is also um, metal and I've added a number of embellishments here. There's crystal, there's um, necklaces that I think were supposed to be ivory but I'm not really sure, I don't think they are, um, and silver. Um, charms on the side and the back has um, an Asian print on it. Its closure is a ribbon, or three ribbons actually, picking up the main colours within this journal. So okay, let's get started. Um, also on the front here I've used a Tim Holtz um, book plates and locks. Uh, this is the first, first page and the first opening. Um, here you'll see um, I've got a pocket and it's got a uh, photo plate or a diary um, plate on there for you to write on and it has a bookmark there. If you have a look up close you can see the beautiful papers. And I have done my own copy dyed paper in here. This is a, um, a handmade stamp from an antique print. It was actually from the calendar and the um, it was just showing uh, on the back page it had all the months of the year there for you to take uh, have a bit of an art, um, bird's eye view of. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this here is a tab pocket and you've also got a pocket behind there for keeping uh, photographs, even that bookmark that I showed you earlier. Just put that in there. I've used um, one of the uh, lovely insect cutouts from Tim Holtz's um, selection of insects. And here we have the beginning of some of the beautiful images. Uh, these images came from a calendar. Uh, no, it was actually a, an Asian Vogue that I picked up some years ago. Uh, this here is just beautiful. I've just used um, dies and die cuts and laid them up. One thing about Asian uh, aesthetics is it's very ornate and there's a lot of gold, a lot of silver, more gold than silver. So it's pretty easy to get a lovely image from. This paper here is silk paper and uh, it's Chinese. Here we go, another one, another beautiful image there. Same here, we have a tab here, a belly band, and that's for taking bigger images, photos, documents, whatever you want there. Uh, these images here. This image here is from Mongolia and it was a fashion shoot from Mongolia that also came out of Asian Vogue and the, the models there are just exquisite. Uh, this page here shows a photo plate that pops up. You can write on the back and you can pop your photograph in underneath here like that. It goes right down. Um, here we've got a tag and you can see how I've used um, my die cuts again. I'd like you to take a close look at this. 
the, um, I don't know whether you can see the silver and gold there, but what I've done is I've got some uh, gold card stock and I've just uh, sprinkled alcohol on it, then alcohol inks in blue, green and terracotta and you get this lovely aged look. Um, more um, cards and whoops, what's caught in there. I'm not going to get it out. This one, I'll have to check that out. Now. I don't know what's wrong with that. I hope I haven't sewn it in. Um, this one is a flap there for putting in journaling cards, writing on the back of or here. Uh, this is some um, beautiful brown and I believe it's Korean silk paper. Um, more Korean silk paper. And you can see here that I've used uh, these in uh, die cuts there. And that's the centre of that signature and I've included a little envelope there. Uh, this is another one of the journaling pages I've got and these are throughout the journal. You'll find them. There'll be so much to use in relation to um, journaling and putting photos in. And these um, journaling cards, they can actually have either words on them or they can have photographs and you can put them in places like that. So these aren't, aren't intended to be left just bare. You can use them for photographs. Uh, this is a lovely little... Um, notebook that I made. Have a look at that. And it's a layered die that comes in uh, two different, or you can get three, but I only bought two. And I've made that into a notebook. This is absolutely gorgeous, and I'm making those a feature of my books from now on. And once again, I've put the uh, die cut up here. Uh, the pages are edged with cotton lace. more things aren't stuck hopefully nope all's well um, another photo plate another beautiful photograph of that Mongolian model she's just gorgeous came off a greeting card I'm pretty sure that's where I got that one from these are just brooch bags that I took the back off and um, have stuck them to the page um, you could use cabochon backs or anything actually they'd probably look lovely with a cabochon if it wasn't a domed cabochon but just a flat one beautiful family scene here Um, there's a number of little tuck spots that are in behind these cards, like this. And um, yeah, they can. This can go in sideways or whatever. It's a little bit tight. They need stretching. Um, cards, tags. And that's the end of one signature. Now we're on to another one. We've got a little in, um, Indian gold. Uh, we've got a couple of those actually embellishments on the side. I've tried to use really good quality products in here. So all the um, paper is, that isn't coffee dyed is um, photographic paper. Uh, we've got this little tag here. And that slides out when it wants to. There we go. Um, so some chrysanthemums. And I think they are off a calendar or a card. I forget now. Same beautiful colours. Like, um, some silk paper again. Um, spellbinders, butterfly dye. Plenty of journaling space. Same here. Um, and I've also included a picture of some Chinese fashions and go in easily. Um, this is lovely.
beautiful silk paper. Um, one thing about Asian, um, Asian art and um, aesthetics is it's very elegant and um, it, although it's ornate, it's not um, fussy. We, you don't get a lot of layering over the top of one another. It's very um, symmetrical and it's laid out well and uh, I, that's what I like about it. Um, and also the colours. The colours are quite foreign to Westerners because they'll put colours like pink, orange and red together, which we wouldn't normally do. Um, but they put it together in such a beautiful way. It's very, very hum harmonious. And I think that that's probably what they're trying to achieve. So, and you've got the paper inside. Oops. one here this is um, uh, a paper they use to celebrate the Chinese New Year and um, I've just made a pocket out of it it's very fine it's a really beautiful fabric it's actually quite difficult doing a video like this because you've got a stand right in front of your face um, this is another envelope there which comes and it's got nothing inside it. It's just lined with fibre paper there. A little handmade envelope. I've made several of these um, out of oiled cartridge paper, cartridge paper um, and it gives it an almost a vellum type feel. Beautiful little embellishments here. Let's see if you can see them. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? This is called Josh Paper. Just remember the name of it. And I'm not stage fright. More chrysanthemums. This is more flowers towards the back of uh, this signature. One here, here, this is a chunky journal, um, it won't lie completely flat because of the embellishments on the spine but they can be removed so if you want to take them off if they annoy you you can do that. Beautiful image there of Asian musicians. And that's the end. Really hope you enjoyed that and it's not been too painful for you watching me struggle my way through making this video. Um, I do intend to do process videos from now on, now that I've figured out how to do it. And I am planning on showing you how to um, make these and um, a few other things that I do that um, I learned at art school. Thank you so much for watching and um, if you like my channel please subscribe, it all helps and um, yeah and hopefully there will be a regular video up here for you each week. Thank you for watching, bye.